Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are all in this journey back to reunite with our twins in this lifetime. And so today is the 5th of October. It is my twin's birthday today. So the mantra, these are mantra, um, mantra books I do that lift and shift your energy and put you in the right vibe to be following your soul path and your soul path is back with your twin. So it is, I live my destiny with every breath I take, every thought I think and every step I take. So, um, I have, I was going to meet my twin, I did actually meet my twin yesterday and so that is the first time in about, uh, so last time I saw him was July 2017, so a long time and it was really amazing, there were so many synchronicities through the whole thing um, and um, yeah it was it was yeah as always when you it's it was amazing but very very like my twin is still with a karmic partner and that's really really difficult <laughs> to deal with because of course it is always tinged with it's amazing but it's also again tinged with a bit of sadness because you're not with them yet so for all of those who are in the same situation as me, my heart goes out to you because I know how challenging it is. And, but there were so many things, right, uh, that happened, which I won't go into all of them, but sort of the most significant one is, um, he's <laughs> he told me that, well, for a start, he hasn't done any drugs for six months, which is quite amazing. And also, um, he's doing yoga every day and also going to India, which um, if you, yeah, so just quite, and to do, he's going to do yoga there. I mean, I don't think it's as a yoga retreat thing, but anyway. So, um, but he's doing it with his karmic. So on the same, so yeah, it was kind of bittersweet, but, you know, really good to see that he is doing all right. And uh, in his workshop, there was a ring on the floor and or, or on the table, he does a upholstery. And um, look, this is the ring, basically. And he said, I can have the ring, because I was like, oh, you've got a ring here. And, um, and he was like, oh, you can have that. And basically it's turquoise, and turquoise is all about overall healing. So, um, again, it was like, it was, like I say, it was bittersweet. It was really good to see him. It was amazing. So many synchronicities, so many evidence of really, you know, like, um, strength, you know, and, you know, sort of everything that we see in the energy reads really playing out. So that was good, but also bittersweet because we're not together. <laughs> so it is, you know, having to dig deep, right? So, the Whispers of Love Oracle today is this. Oh my God! Spiritual connection. <laughs> this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Oh, I'm so pleased that it's that card. Oh, dear me. And so I'm just going to read the... Um, so, 27 is also... 27 is the energy... In the energy deck that I use, 27 is the energy of walking away from everything that isn't the true love <clears throat> and so it is about trusting that you are on the right path right even if they are with other people even if they are doing whatever they're doing um but it is about trust it's trusting in your journey trusting in what your guidance and what your heart says for you it doesn't matter what anyone else says and in fact the less you talk about it to people that don't know about this journey the better because they might put you off because they will see it through 3D vision, right? Being, oh, what, you're still waiting? Or whatever it is, or, you, you know, the first question is always, oh, have they left their person? Are they single yet? Or, you know, whatever the questions are, it can really throw you off balance and start making you question your journey. And so I'd say it's really, really important that you don't do that because it is important to know that you are on your right path and that connection that happens, if you look here between this spiritual connection from um, each other, right, this telepathic connection is real, right? It is real. So this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. 
Everything happens for a reason and know that some of the people that come into our life are there just to help teach us a lesson and make a real impact on our life. Oh, whether this is a love, soulmate relationship or a relationship for growth, it is important to you in this lifetime. Well, there you go. So it is um, the spiritual connection. It goes beyond all everything, right? And the next one is focus on love. So look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. I also note that the dragon is there, the dragon, and it's also number 24, which is six, which is your love path. And check out that, look at that, it's number 20, 24. Uh, uh, so the dragon, dragon energy, again, breathing fire, giving you that courage. The other thing he takes me to this place, there are two tigers in the... Um, <laughs> place that he takes me to two actual massive stuff you know toy stuffed tigers sat on the cushion um and so there was just so many i couldn't even go through all of the synchronicities that happened on the way there let alone union was written all over the place and loads and loads and loads and loads of things um <clears throat> but you know it is that that bittersweet thing because you kind of think oh i just want to be together now so Volume, I'm going to read letter 142 from the books, and it is, um, it is this, and here we go, so, well, it's complicated, and it's been complicated, and I truly am sorry for that, and for any pain and hurt I've caused you, it's just that it's been really difficult for me to handle how I'm feeling like these really strong feelings and I feel out of control of my life, of my relationships, of everything. I feel like I have to take things real slow. I'm sorry if that's exasperating, but it's just how I can handle it. The love I feel for you overwhelms me and I need time to adjust to the strength of feeling. And it is forgive me and stay with me. Well, that's exactly everything that I felt yesterday. There was this like real kind of like, oh, and then immediately he was like, oh, can I see you next week? And I just sort of left it because I just thought, actually, I can't see you next. <laughs> I can't see you when you've got someone else, you know. So anyway, that would be sort of the next stage. So next one, letter 40, 142. I am besotted with you and I am beside myself that I can't be with you at the moment. I wish that everything could just magically disappear so that I could come running back to me. I want you so much to be in my arms, in my soul, in my life. I am desperate for the day when we can live together as man and wife, that we can be each other's everything, our lifeline to a brighter and more beautiful, romantic, blissful future is each other. The golden thread of unconditional love that binds us together by our hearts is pulling so strong. I feel pangs of pain in my heart for you, yearning to be two hearts beating as one. I want to feel your heart beating against mine. You are all I want. Okay, so that is number two. And then number three, this is 143 from book three. And it is. You are my divine flower, the bud that is blossoming to life with every beat of my heart. Oh, hang on, that's 143. Sorry, I'm going to do 142. So never forget that we are each other's earthly guardian angels. We are the magic ingredient for each other that can make things happen. More magic that you could ever imagine. More powerful than you could ever imagine. We are coming into our power. We may feel like we are steering off track, but we're not. It's all part of our growth process. We are always growing when we realize that we are together, always. The more we learn and know that, the more powerful we become because it's the power of love. Right, and so that is what we have to remember. And the two songs for today are by the stone roses and so it is that the stone uh, basically if your twin has given you that stony heart um it will eventually turn into a rose right 
Um, there are two songs. One is Waterfall and one is I Just Want to Be Adored. And that is definitely what I'm definitely what I'm feeling um, from my meeting with my twin yesterday is there is this real craving for a very passionate, compassionate, tender love. And so the song that came out this morning, I Just Want to Be Adored, was just quite spot on. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I got. The, I got the feeling, I just want to be adored. And so that is the message. It's waterfall and I just want to be adored. And the mantra for today is this. I live my destiny with every breath I take, every thought I think and every step I take. There you go. Well, I hope you have a great day. If you want to have a healing reading or a channeled letter, please do. Only $10. All details are in the link. And to everyone, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck with your twin journey because it is destiny. And I promise. Oh, just as I said that, it was 11.11. 11. It is destiny. And there were so many things yesterday um, that it was just... Yeah, it was just, it was, I can't, I, you know, now thinking about it, I can't even remember them all, but it was just like one after the next, after the next. And it was so lovely because it's like that feeling of coming home. But then when we walked away, it was that real bittersweet. But just knowing that one day you will be together and there won't ever have to be walking away again. And that is what is a beautiful thing. So I hope this message helps and take care. And if you want to have a healing reading or letter to help you, then please do. All details are in the link. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye.